The Art Institute of Chicago actually has two mummies in its collection, and this past February, they took them by ambulance to the University of Chicago to the Center for Care and Discovery, which is this brand new uh, building with the latest technology, to have them scanned using the most high-tech CT scanner possible. This isn't the most easy of undertakings. These are actual humans, of course, thousands of years old. And they're in these beautiful cartonnage or coffins, or in one case, just the wrapping, that are incredibly valuable, delicate, and, you know, there's a whole new kind of regime of how you handle mummies now, very respectfully. So they loaded them into ambulances because ambulances are designed to transport humans who are in critical condition. So they took them down to the University of Chicago to scan them using this brand new scanning technology that it's complicated, but it's incredibly quick. It can scan the mummies in their entirety in about 10 seconds, producing something like 3,500 cross-sections of the mummy in the most minute detail imaginable. These are mummies that have been scanned before, but not since the late 80s, and so clearly the technology is much more advanced at this point. They know the names of the mummies, and they know quite a bit about them. Usually the caskets they're buried in have all that information. The male mummy is Pa'ankanaman, and the other one is known as Wenihotep. They wanted to learn more about how they lived and how they died. And so they're hoping to include this information and images of the actual scanning in the exhibition. Scanning and 3D modeling are kind of the cutting edge of mummy exhibition and display right now. They may include those, but given that it's an art institute, they'll probably focus on the actual objects, that is the mummies and their enclosures. They actually did discover some interesting things when they did the scanning. You're going to have to listen to my piece to find out more about what those discoveries entail. It was incredible to me. So these art handlers in this high-tech radiology lab, and we're inside the scanning room looking at the images of the mummies they've produced, and radiologists are flocking around us like they've never seen anything this exciting. I mean, these are people who see this kind of they see images of the human body all the time, but the mummies were fascinating to them. and They just couldn't stay away. Anyway, it was a successful outing. The mummies made it back to the Art Institute safe and sound. They won't be on display anytime soon, so this may be as close as you can get to them for some time.